Come on. Come on. Almost got the lock open. Fear not, princess, for I have come to rescue you! You moron! You nearly hit me with the door! Who the hell are you? I am Sir Osric. Prince Philip has charged me with your safe- Oh god, not him again. Look, thanks for the offer, but I have no desire but, to go to Prince Philip's but kingdom. I am here to rescue you! You're in great danger here! All helpless Whoa, and- Whoa, wait a minute. Danger? Maybe. Great danger? Not likely. And helpless? Certainly not. What about the dragon? We cannot let his evil continue! And how do you propose we stop the dragon? By slaying him in combat! Ha! Oh, that's brilliant. With that new shiny sword and armor. You haven't used either of those in any combat. Ever. Hey, I've been trained. The instructor says I've got good form and posture, and that my talents are promising. And if you were challenging the dragon to oppose off, then form and posture might mean something. I am not afraid, my lady. I have spent many nights practicing on the training dummies in the castle. Really? And how many of those dummies hit you back? Uh, I guess, yeah, none. That's what I thought. Listen, Osric, you seem like a nice enough guy. So here, you take this locket and you can tell Prince Clueless that it's a token of my appreciation. Then you can go about your way and stop following me and making that god-awful racket you're making in that ridiculous suit of armor that he made you wear. My lord did not make me wear this armor. It is an honor to- You know to what? I don't care. Here, here's a pouch of coins for your trouble. Just leave me alone. Madam, I cannot let you leave my side until you are safe. I have sworn an oath to protect- Still don't care. If you're going to follow me, then I need you to stay back and be a lot quieter. Can you do that? I, to, I, I can try. Good. You're not being quieter. You know, most princesses are a lot more grateful when a stalwart knight comes to save them from their terrible fate. Well, most princesses are helpless twits who couldn't manage to do anything on their own. Damn! What? You hear that? No. Up ahead, those are goblins. Okay, I'm gonna sneak Fear in. Fear not, my princess! I will protect you! Run! No! Don't! Damn, fool. Wow! Thanks. No problem. Just don't go charging any more goblin guards. I'll uh, keep that in mind for next time. Okay, we have to keep going. Just a few more rooms until we're at the front gate and... <laughs> Whoa! What was that? Damn, I thought he'd be in meditation right now. I was. Until your valiant savior began kicking doors in all over my tower. Really? Well, how else was I supposed to find you? It's not like I knew which room you were in. How many times did the midwives drop you on your head when you hey, were Hey, that's, that's enough. From both of you. No, I've had it with you. Coming in and try to steal me away. Taking me to some dark and evil tower. Or cave. Or swamp. Where all you do is put me in a room and leave me there. I mean, seriously, what is up with that? Well, um, yeah. the stars are Go on. out of alignment mm -hmm. for the ritual, uh -huh. and I, well, it's unimportant. I think it is important. If I was going to kidnap someone for some dark, nefarious purpose, I wouldn't lock them in a tower for weeks before I did the deed. I would kidnap them and get it done right away. In fact, I don't think you really have something planned, do well, you? fine. No. I actually don't have a plan. But- No. No buts. Why do you keep trying to kidnap me if you don't have a plan? Well, it's my mother. She, she wants me to follow in her footsteps. Be the next dark wizard, terrorizing the land. She keeps pestering me. Marvin, when are you going to start conquering the world? Or Marvin, how come you've stopped raising that dark army? It's just so tiring. She keeps telling me that she's 600 years old and she can't keep plotting her schemes forever. And one day, I'm going to have to take over her spot as Dread Necromancer. But I, 
I don't want to be a dread necromancer. I don't want to be any kind of necromancer, really. I, I just wish she would just, you know, let me be my own person. Okay. If your mother wasn't pushing you, what would you want to do? You know, I've always wanted to do magic shows. Like, for little kids' birthday parties. I'm not very good at throwing fireballs or summoning death rays or raising dark armies, but I was voted best prestidigitator by my graduating class at Wizarding University. Well there, why don't you go do something like that? But what about my mother? You have to learn to be your own person sometime, or else you'll be taking care of her till she's 2,000, and you won't have anyone to take care of you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right! I'm sick and tired of having to travel to the Infernal Plane every time she needs more Eye of Newt or Unicorn Shell. Good for you. So, can I go now? Uh, yeah, um... Please? Me too. Um, Yeah, you guys can go. And thanks. No problem. Well, that was... unexpected. Yes, it was. And look at that. I'm free! So, you can let me go to my castle now, right? No trying to drag me to Prince Philip? Uh, sure. Thanks. Oh, and Osric? Yes, princess? If you ever want to come over for tea or something, I guess I wouldn't mind that. Oh. Cool. 